we're going to read Pet Tad. Plum wants a pet. Plum's dad does not want a pet. Specifically, he wants no pet. So Plum, who never takes no for an answer, gets herself the only pet she can. A pet dad. With a little training, Plum knows that she and her new pet will enjoy many years of friendship. And she might not need a leash, a muzzle, or even that cone thing. Plum adores her new pet. She rubs his tummy. She scratches behind his ears. She names him Snitchel. But when it comes to caring for Snitchel, Plum runs into a spot of trouble. Roll over. No. First, she must feed her pet. Plum knows that pet grown-ups eat disgusting foods like kale or and quinoa in a pinch yard waste will do. But when Plum tries to feed this mess to her pet, he barks, No, Sancho has a different way to eat. Next, Plum must teach her pet when and where to do his business. But when she tries to paper train her pet, again he barks, No. Sancho has a different use for the newspaper. That night, Plum tries to sleep train her pet, again with the no. Sancho does not want to be Plum's foot warmer. Isn't easy caring for a pet, especially a pet grown-up. The next morning, rested and refreshed, Plum takes her pet to the park to teach him some new tricks. She trains Sancho to sit. Heck no, he barks. She trains him to fetch. Then she trains Sancho to chase. That works a little better until Sancho starts barking loudly. Get back here, very loudly. Plum knows she has to be firm. Time out or not, time out. With some unexpected free time, Plum sits down for a good thing. This pet training's not going well. The missing piece, Plum reasons, is a reward for her pet. But what is a good reward? What does Plum have that pet dads love most of all? And then she has a stroke of genius. No. Hug. Yes. The hug, a perfect reward for a pet dad. With her recent success, Plum tries the math again. Please plus hug equals ice cream. Next, she discovers sit, plus hug, picnic, and finally, roll over, plus hug, playtime. And from that day forward, Plum and her pet enjoy many years of friendship and love, and she never needs a leash, a muzzle, or even that cone thing. The end.